Okay, let me tell you this. When Jesus comes back... Yes. Why is he coming know, back and not your Muhammad? Because Allah appointed him to be the Messiah. Okay, so what does it mean for him to be the Messiah? That means he's the true Christ. He will wipe What does it mean, the, the true Christ? Christ? What's the word Christ mean? What's the word Messiah mean? You tell me what that means. Wait, but wait, hold on. You just told me... He's coming back because he's the true Messiah, true Christ. And I told you what it means and you don't know. So then how does your answer make sense? You're saying, oh, he's coming back because he's the true Christ, which means that there's something about the name Christ, which is why he's coming back. And when I ask you, well, what does it mean? You don't know. So let me ask you again. Why is Jesus coming back? Not your prophet. Because Jesus, Allah chose Jesus. And yet he chose Jesus to do things that he didn't choose for any other prophet, not even your own prophet. For example, let's talk about choosing. The Quran said mentions Jesus's mother Mary by name, right? Yes. Does he mention Muhammad's mother? No. Does he mention Muhammad's father? No. According to the Quran, chapter 3, verse 42, who's the greatest woman Allah created? Mary. Okay. So Jesus's mother is mentioned by name. She's the greatest woman. But according to Sahih Muslim, Muhammad's mother Amina is in hell and his father is in hell. But don't, don't you know, my Prophet said from the previous nations, Maryam was the greatest. No, he didn't say only the previous. The Quran says Allah chose Mary above all women, period. He didn't say only her generation. And even in those hadiths, she's still the greatest. Don't quote the hadith you like, but you changed the subject. Oh, well, Your mother, is, uh, uh, Muhammad's mother is in hell. You want me to read Qurtubi? I got Qurtubi right here who says, Mary is the greatest woman in heaven, greater than everyone, even over Fatima and Khadij, Khadija and Aisha. Don't play that game with me, man. I have it right here. So I'm asking okay, you the question though. Muhammad's yes, mother, don't change the subject. Muhammad's mother, she's in hell. Yes or no? So you change the subject. Is Muhammad's mother in hell? I, I, I mean, from that hadith, that's what I understand. So why did Jesus' mother get honored and Muhammad's mother dishonored? Why is Muhammad's mother in hell? And why is Jesus' mother the greatest woman according to the Quran? Why is he showing such honor to Jesus, but showing such disrespect and dishonor to Muhammad? Where he gave Muhammad pagan parents who are burning in hell. That doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. Because he was crying like a baby. And Sai Muslim, he went to the tomb and he was crying. And the Sahaba said, uh, why you are you crying? This is how he honors okay. your prophet? You're not I, listening. I, this is how he honors your I prophet? Understand. I understand, but I want to make a point here. Can you answer you, that question? Why is she in hell? If he's the greatest man and the seal of the so prophet? No. So what? If he's the greatest, that just goes to show how big of a sin shirk is. No, that shows you how much better Jesus is to Muhammad. Muhammad is under the shoes of Jesus. Uh, 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 wait, wait. You're saying he's not better than Muhammad? Are you sure? He's not. You sure? Because my prophet said, me and Jesus are special brothers. And your prophet is deceived because he's no brother of Jesus. He's under the feet of Jesus. And your Quran shows Jesus is better than Muhammad. Did your God Allah rebuke Muhammad for sin in the Quran? Yes. Did he rebuke Jesus for sin in the Quran? Oh my God. Come on, man. Stop it. Answer me, man. Did Allah rebuke Jesus for any sin in the Quran? This Quran, it Did was he? not all about Jesus, okay? I didn't say it is, but it says enough about Jesus to so show he's better than Muhammad. Did the Quran rebuke Jesus for sin? Because in the Quran, you have Moses sin, Abraham sin, Noah sin, Adam sin. Muhammad sinned, but for some reason, the Quran doesn't say Jesus sinned, and Allah didn't rebuke him. But it mentions Moses, it mentions Abraham, it mentions Nuh, Noah, it mentions Adam and Muhammad, they're all sinners, but Jesus, no. Even John the Baptist, Yahya, yeah, you don't find anything in the Quran that says John the Baptist sinned either. I will agree that his sin is not mentioned, but Allah did say in the Quran, if I were to catch... If I were to catch everybody for their sin, you that's know, going I to don't quote that. That's going to bury you because in 1661 proves that Mary and Jesus are God, that Allah with Allah. Because that verse you're quoting, I use it to show you why the Quran makes no sense. Because in chapter three, verse 42 of your Quran, chapter five, verse 75 of your Quran, and chapter 1919 19 says that Mary and Jesus are pure. She was purified from conception. She is righteous, and Jesus is a pure son. Which means that 1661 either is a lie or Jesus and Mary are God. Because 1661 says if Allah were to hold any man on earth accountable for wrongdoing, he would not leave a single creature on it. Which means that everyone's evil. But hold on. The Quran says Jesus and Mary are sinless. That means they're not creatures. That means they are God with Allah. You just buried yourself. Uh, that's what you can believe.
I'm telling you the Quran says 342, 575, 1919. Jesus Mary sinless. In fact, the Hadith says, the Hadith says that Shaitan, the devil, pricked, touched every baby born of Adam except Mary and her son. Okay. Uh, Why? Let me tell you. you that means you he touched consider... your prophet, right? Because he says all the sons of Adam, when they were born, Shaitan, the devil, touched them, made them cry except Mary and her son. Where, where can I find that hadith? Chapter 3, verse 36, and in Bukhari and Muslim. Bukhari and Muslim. You want me okay, to give it give to you? Me the link. Oh, yeah. I want to read it right okay, now. Okay, i give it to you. And then if I show it to you, what are you going to say to me? I mean, I just never read it. so. Okay, I but okay. It. what are you going to say to me? I will say to you, probably that happened because he has been appointed. He is a sign go. of the day of judgment. What day of judgment? Everyone is touched, including your prophet. Here it is. Let me get you the hadith. Here, you're going to read it for me. Abu Huraira reported Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying that Satan touches every son of Adam on the day when his mother gives birth to him, with the exception of Mary and her son. Okay, why? Why Mary and her son? Satan could not touch them, but he touched your prophet. Okay, I, have, I have an answer for this. I'm sure, I'm sure you will, because whatever answer you give me, See, you still are left with Muhammad great, being touched by Satan. Great. How great of an answer I have. Super. Because Super, man. That is upon him is a sign of day of judgment. But isn't your prophet supposed to be a sign too? And why yes, did Allah he, make Jesus a sign? And why is it that Jesus still... Jesus is a sign of end of times, you know? Okay, but what has end time got to do with Jesus and Mary? Because Mary's not a sign of the day of judgment. Is she coming back too? No. So why did Allah protect Mary? Why did Allah protect Mary from being touched by Shaitan? She's not coming back. She's not a sign of the judgment. Allah protected her because of Jesus. Okay, so then why didn't he protect Mary's mother? Mary's mother? Because your logic is stupid. If Allah protects Mary from being touched by Satan because she's going to give birth to Jesus, then why didn't he protect Mary's mother because she was going to give birth to Mary? Look. Yeah, I thought Mary's so. Mary's Mary is not as great as Jesus. I didn't ask that question. Notice your logic. You say, now you change your answer, which is good. I'm recording you. You said, well, the reason why Satan didn't touch Jesus is because he's a sign of the ju judgment. But Mary's not a sign of the judgment. So why did he protect her? Then your answer was, well, because she's the mother of Jesus. But hold on. If Allah protect Mary from being touched by Satan because she gave birth to Jesus, then why did he protect Mary's mother from being touched by Satan when she was going to give birth to Mary who's going to give birth to Jesus? Whatever the reasons might be. Yeah, you don't have an answer. Just be honest. Don't give answers that are silly because your prophet didn't give this answer. So you're adding to your prophet. Just say, I don't know. Okay. It's even better for you. Okay. I don't know. Okay. So then let's come back to the question. How is Muhammad and equal to Jesus when you just saw he's much better okay. than Muhammad, according to your Quran, and his mother is much better than Muhammad's mother? 